everyone. Welcome back. Um, I want to thank you for all of the comments on my previous videos. I appreciate it. If you're new here, I hope you hang around. Um, this is the um, Stitch the Seasons that I'm doing with Corinne. It may take me a minute to get my thoughts together. <laughs> It may take me the whole hour I plan on doing this video to get my thoughts together. I'm a little sleep deprived due to new puppy. But anyway, um, I decided to add three more petals and some more lace to this flower. It didn't look right to me. I wanted it to look like a tulip, but I spread these out too much and it didn't look like that to me. So I'm just going with this. Yes, it's going to be gigantic but that's okay too. I have mixed um, a fine crochet cotton and two strands of um, DMC 51. And it's a variegated orange thread. And I doubled that one piece of thread over. So there's actually a fold right here. And what I'm going to do is just stitch these. I also stitched this flower, which is where I left off. I forgot to say that. Um, this is where I left off uh, the last video. I finished the initial row and I put the little French knots in there. And then I did some French knots below that initial um, like three quarter circle that I have going on here. I added these French knots in here and then added more stems to crisscross to look more like the photograph that was inspiring me. Um, the the um, stem here, told you it's going to take me a minute, bear with me. A lot of umming I'm, and I apologize for that ahead of time and that's the last time I'm going to apologize for being sleep deprived. Um, so I did a back stitch. And then I did a whip stitch. So I back stitched down, whip stitched up, and then did another whip stitch. Um, I think that's what it is. Or a wrap stitch. I wrapped it. That's what I did. So um, I did that twice and it came out just the thickness and the texture that I wanted. I really like it that way. So yeah. So let me back you out because God, that's close. All right, so I am going to work here in these leaves here, and then I'm going to possibly put a stem on. I don't, oops, I don't know. All right, come on, Martha. You can do this. And I'm going to tack down this lace. Oh, man, this might not be the right needle for this. Yeah, that's not going to come. See, it's not going through that lace the bottom of this lace is really tightly woven i'm realizing so we will pull this thread up now this is going to make this thread a lot thicker than these threads i used here i think but let's just let's just go in here instead through the hole instead of trying to get three threads through this very thick lace i'm using a chenille um, because it has the bigger eye, but it's got a pointy, pointy, sharp edge, point, a sharp point to it. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Yeah. It dawned on me that even though I thought I had had a puppy before, I've never had a nine-week-old puppy. Holy macaroni, am I overwhelmed. But it'll be okay i know it will my friends out there are encouraging me thank you robin and christine i really appreciate it and um yeah it's it's been a a few days i'll tell you it's been interesting so i think i'll go in this way Don't want to pull too tight. Oh, here we go again. All right. 
see that loop is sticking out the knot. I didn't pull it quite tight enough, but that's okay. It, it can sit back there safely, and that's all that matters. And I have lotion on my hands, so that's another challenge. <laughs> Martha is challenged today. So I want to thank everybody um, for subscribing. It has meant a lot to me, and I have reached 3,000. I am not going to do anything in this video um, for a challenge because I have to get my uh, thoughts together. Not challenge. Why did I say challenge? Oh my goodness, I shouldn't even be making this video. But anyway, I am going to get something together, my thoughts together, and then in um, probably you know, maybe the next video, maybe the one after that, I will be maybe mentioning a giveaway for the 3000. So if you're interested in that, you don't subscribe, subscribing is free. And I do appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And it puts me in a algorithm where more people are likely to watch. So I appreciate it if you can subscribe. This is not, not Amazon. It's not subscribe and save. It's just subscribe for free. So if you could do that, I really appreciate it. And I hope this finds everybody well. And I want to welcome anybody that's new here. I appreciate you being here. And yeah. So the puppy is sleeping. The husband is on his way to the bank to deposit a check. Yes, we still do it the old fashioned way. The workers are out on the golf course doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but it's, it includes a lot of noisy equipment. And I will be listening for the puppy to wake up. And if he does so, I will be <laughs> zipping out of here quickly to get him outside to potty. Which, potty training has been a challenge, but it's going okay. I guess. <laughs> All right, let's see. I need to take this across the back, which I hate doing, but come on, Martha. There we go. Okay, now. And spring has sprung finally. The temperatures are warming up a little bit. Um, we did not get a lot of the eclipse yesterday. It was supposed to be 89%. To be honest, I really didn't notice anything. So, I mean, it got weirdly colored outside. Um, but we did not have total totality, as they call it. So if you were in a zone of totality, good for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I just made sure Tucker and I were in the house. Tony was watching the Weather Channel, which showed it from many different places on the map. And uh, it was cool, but, you know... I had no desire to get in a car or a van and go somewhere and watch it. My hands are really slippery. <laughs> uh, I tried not to get it on my fingertips, but I've been washing my hands so much lately with the, the puppy. I, I know, I'm trying not to make every single sentence about the puppy, but I've been washing my hands way more than I normally do, which is already a lot. And... um. Oh boy, I caught that under there and I really didn't want it under there. Well, sugar. <laughs> Let's see. Can we snip it? Maybe. I'm wiping my hands on my on my leggings. I'm like a little kid. I am just going to snip there. You really don't notice it. So I can take that pin out. And then I was going to put that right there. So I pulled out different fabric. This is a batik. 
and well actually all three of these are batiks they're just this is one batik that's a different one and i really like it so i'm just going to go with the flow here now took the needle <laughs> what did i do with it oh man i'll tell you i would not recommend being old and getting a brand new puppy but i love him he's going through wicked uh teething right now so uh, it's, it's a challenge but he's cute it's hard to it's hard to you know get mad at him i don't get mad at him i get mad at myself for certain things but i don't get mad at him okay so done with that now put this over there where it's safe let's see kind of like how I'm sort of moving towards white with the orange over here let's see do I want to maybe I'll just stick with the orange the variegated orange how many strands do I have left do I have three or four I have three all right I'm going to take one mm. See if Martha can thread a needle today. <laughs> mm -mm. This is why I keep multiple needles out here. All right, that strand doesn't want to go in at that end. I'll try this end. There we go. A lot of times if I cannot get it to go one end of the thread to go in I just move to the other end of the thread it's fine it usually works that other eye was very small so I wasn't going to struggle with that today I feel like this is really ginormous I'm going to cut this down a little bit just a little bit Martha Maybe a little here. You can always take more off. You can't put it back on after it's gone. Oops. Um, yeah, so I got out of the house yesterday. Tony said, you go shopping. I'll stay here with Tucker. I'm like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure I should drive, considering how tired I was. But I did fine. Everything was fine. So I went grocery shopping. But I also went to Hobby Lobby. Tony's birthday, Tony is my husband, uh, is tomorrow, which is April 10th, which, let's see, what's today? Tuesday. I don't know if I'll post this video today or if it'll get posted tomorrow. It depends on whether I get to finish it or not <laughs> today <laughs> because that could be questionable. Depends on the puppy. But, all right, let me put that there. Um, if I get it finished today, I will post it today maybe. No, I'll post it tomorrow. I'll post this on April 10th, and that is Tony's birthday. See what I mean? I can't put two thoughts together really well. I think this is upside down. It sure as heck is. Darn. All right. Did not pay attention to that, and I should have. Let's see if I can get this out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Whoopsies. Didn't want that one to come up. I am just going to gentle. There we go. So I am working on trying to squeeze videos out. And I do greatly appreciate your patience if I can't quite keep up right at the moment. 
Nap times are great. If you've had kids or puppies, you know nap times are great. <laughs> you look forward to them. No matter which kind of parent you are, uh, a pet parent or a... Oh, don't put it back on the same way, silly. Okay. It's so hard to tell with this which side is right. I believe that's the correct side. Or did I have it down the right way to begin with? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. See, you can see the thread, the outlining thread on that side, but you see it on that side too. Oh, quit finagling, Martha. Just do it. Just do it. All right. I'm just going to stitch around this lace so it stays on. Yes, yeah, so I went to Hobby Lobby yesterday. And I went looking for things like wooden beads, which I found on sale, which was cool. And um, I also went to look in their spring section because Tony likes, we have this windsock that we hang outside. And I found one like the ones he likes. It's the American flag. And my husband was a, in the army he was a soldier for 21 years, so um, I got him a new windsock because the other one is pretty beaten up. And then um, I got him, he loves to feed the birds. We love watching the birds out back. And what happens is in the springtime, we put out... Um, I'm trying to think of what stitch I'm going to use here. We put out hummingbird feeders. And so um, they have this new hummingbird feeder. And it looks like a little tiny mason jar. It's only about that tall. So I, if I did this, you wouldn't be able to see it. So it's about that tall. And it's a little round... I have it, but it's in the closet right now. Um, it's a lip. I'm going to get it. Hold that thought. Okay. So that's the windsock that I got him. And then, excuse the crackle. This is the hummingbird feeder. Isn't that cute? So it's about that thick. It's a mason jar. And you fill it from up here. And it's got extra little feeder things in case these go bad. And this stuff was all 50% off. And then it hangs up like this. And we have a little um, wrought iron hook on our deck. I have to wrap these back up because I don't want Tony to see them. Let me hide them. Because <laughs> um, when he comes back, he'll probably walk by. Um, or the puppy will wake up and I'll forget to put it away. So... Let's see. Uh, so we have a wrought iron, you know, bird feeder hook kind of thing that hang, that connects to the deck rail. And we love to watch the hummers in the spring, summer, and fall. So that one will only take a little bit of I like that it's glass it's easy to clean and it'll only take a little bit of we make our own well Tony 
I don't make anything. Tony makes the hummingbird food from scratch, just sugar water. No dyes, no nothing. That's not good for hummers. So, yeah. So we, we lo love to watch the hummers fight over the feeder. We only put one feeder out normally. We sometimes try to put two out, but I don't know. They, they seem to not go to the second one. And the bully that always shows up every year, he still chases everybody off the feeders. And it doesn't matter how far apart we've put them. They, they just don't, it's like only one feeder works. I see all these videos of all these people that have multiple feeders and the hummers are just swarmed around them. We can't do that here. I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, I thought it would be cute to get him one of those and the flag. So we don't, you know, we buy what we want when we want to. Well, within reason. <laughs> So it's hard to buy him gifts. So I thought those would be cute. And he's he's done almost every single, he's been working on um, paint by number for adults. And he's made some beautiful, beautiful paintings. So let's see. I'm not sure what I want to do with this one. But I'm just carrying my thread over. Maybe I'll do some lazy daisies. Do something a little different. Yeah. And they aren't going to get wrapped. I'm just going to give them to him in the morning. <laughs> and he can play with putting those up when it's time. Meanwhile, he stayed with Tucker for at least... Was it gone? Two... Two hours, two and a half hours, maybe. I picked up a lunch at Panera. Thank you again, Robin. <laughs> Robin is very sweet to us. She's been a lovely friend. Ow! <laughs> That's what I have to say when the dog bites me. Which, oh man, his teething is so out of control right now. Oy, oy, oy. But anyway, and so I bought some wooden beads and I have this project forming in my head and I cannot wait to get started on it. It's going to be so much fun. I don't know how much of it I'll get done on camera, but I am excited. I'm sort of gathering, it's it's interesting, like I tend to gather, some people gather supplies and then go to town. I gather thoughts, then I have to gather supplies, then I can go to town <laughs> and get busy and do my thing. But um, yeah, for me, it's a, it's a whole thinking process. And I've often even on camera, faulted myself for my techniques, my processes. But you know what? I'm not going to do that anymore. And you know why? Because I've been reading this book. And I'll tell you what, I, I can't even explain to you. I, I, I can try, and I think I've said it before, but Fleur's story... And I'm sure I'm mispronouncing her name the way it should be pronounced. She talks about how she has found herself as an artist. And if you don't have this book and you can afford to get it, I believe it's releasing in the U.S. in May, but you can pre-order it. And it's not cheap, but it's huge. I mean, this thing is... Let's see. I mean... It goes to my first knuckle and it it is hefty and it's beautiful. I mean, the artwork in it is beautiful. It's stunning. It is inspirational. And um, yeah, I'm getting lots of ideas. And her story is what is most inspiring to me. Um 
She doesn't go into specific technique, but she does do a course. And I'm hoping that I can do that course. It's an online course, but I'm hoping I can do it in September. Um, I hope I can sign up for it quickly and I can afford it. I don't know. We'll see, but I might have to start selling off my stuff I'm making. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then I got to figure that out if that's what I want to do. But I really, really, really want to take this course. And what I'd love is to take a live course. But yeah, I'm not flying to Australia. Christine has signed up for Create and Craft with Christine. Hi, Christine. She has signed up for the, uh, the one next spring in Australia. And man... What I wouldn't do to go with her, except I wouldn't fly that far. <laughs> I just, I can't. Anxiety, um, and then anxiety leads for me to my heart acting up. And my heart acting up leads to more anxiety for me because in 2007, I had a massive heart attack. And I remember what everything felt like, like it was yesterday. So... <laughs> Yeah. Um, so when anxiety creates more anxiety for me, it, it's not a good thing. <laughs> not, not in my little world. And I've never, never once enjoyed an airline flight. And knowing what has happened in the past, living through all the things that um, have happened, when I flew back from Germany in 1989 with my family, there had been a plane incident um, a f like a couple of months prior to us having to fly back. And my anxiety was so high. It was horrible, horrible. And um, yeah, it it's not a good thing. Then my brother had a heart attack um a few years after that and I had to fly up to him in Maine and holy cow <laughs> it was like I needed about six Prozac to get through that <laughs> I didn't have any um I needed something but I didn't have anything and and oh yeah it was not good oh that's pretty I should have done that on a few more of them I could but I like that on the batik. Robin mentioned that she's going to make a project with batiks. Um, and it made me think this morning, hey, girl, you've got some batiks. Why don't you pull them out? So off I went. It's funny how other people are inspiring me an awful lot lately. Thanks, Robin. Again, I'm always thanking you for stuff. Your support, especially in puppyhood here. <laughs> puppy world. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do with this is, I know I'm going to do something in the center, but it's probably beading. Um, I don't even know if I have orange beads, to be honest with you. Holy cow. But I do have this green. I got this DMC wool. Sorry, it's giving me a hard time over here. I got this DMC wool in a pack. Um... It looks like this. Get the glare off it, Martha. It looks like that. And this one's Tropical Collection. They have different collections. But like these are the ones... I've shown these before, but it's been a long time. And I really... I tried one once on something and took it out. I hated it. Um, this wool is a lot thicker than the tapestry wool that like Christine uses. So I'm not sure I'm going to like it. But I'm going to go for it. And we'll see. I'd like this to come out from under here. And what I might do, I thought about possibly couching it down. You 
And what I'm going to do is put other flowers here so this doesn't come all the way down behind the bunny because I'm going to put other flowers there. So I think what I might do is do that and then couch it down with a green thread. And I think I'll like it better than if I backstitch it or stem stitch it or whatever. So I think I'm just going to, come on, Martha, pull the right thing and it'll work. And if you don't talk to your work, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> All right, I need to leave it loose enough, but not too loose that it looks funny. All right, I think right there. And I am going to, I think I'll go back up right next to that hole because I have to anchor it somehow. Now, I wonder, can I couch it with the same thread? What would that look like? I would love to get a hold of some tapestry wool, but I need to find a shop that sells it and then figure out what I want. And I was looking at beads this morning. I know some beads. My nose is itchy. Uh, I know some beads that I want. I need to see. It's already pulling more than I wanted it to. All right. I need to see if I can pin this. Um, hold that thought. <laughs> I need to pin it so it stays in place. Um, yeah, I was looking at beads this morning on Etsy and on Fire Mountain Gems. And I found the ones I've been looking for. However, oh, excuse me, I have not had breakfast yet. And I usually eat breakfast by now, but the puppy is sleeping. Shh. So I wanted to get a video done while he's napping. And then when he wakes up, we run outside. And then I think I am going to like this. Maybe. I'll do a few more. And, you know, I got to decide on size. I can't touch them or feel them. I've got to decide on color. <laughs> it, it's, it's hard for me to make choices like that. Oh, I do like this, actually. Yes, I am liking it. I want to pull this a little tighter. So that one's tight enough, but the ones before it I need to pull a little tighter. Don't pull that up. Come on. I was standing in the kitchen. I'm like, what is that weird noise outside? There was a duck standing in the middle of the golf course on the 10th tee, which they can't golf on right now. They haven't been able to golf on it in almost a year now um, because of work they did. And they're doing down where the hole actually is. You know, in golf, you have a place that you tee off and then you have a, the green where the hole is. So <laughs> they're working and have been. Um, and so the animals are just hanging out there because, you know, nobody's golfing on it. So the ducks, the geese, the crows. <laughs> it's like a menagerie of birds out there. What is a menagerie of birds called? I don't know. But anyway, so I heard this weird noise. One duck, one duck sitting out in the middle of the, the tee. It's like, are you lost? Did you lose your mate? You in the wrong place on the wrong golf part of the golf course? Oh, man. I was thinking about that the other day. Actually, was it yesterday or this morning? I don't know. 
I'm lucky I know it's Tuesday, to be honest. Anyhow, um, so I was thinking how many animals we have here we've seen just in our yard. I'm not even talking just on the golf course, but in our yard. Uh, last year or the year before, we had a mama duck with about, I don't know, it had to be a minimum of 15 ducklings behind her, just waddling on through. <laughs> um, we had a deer that I could see from, all this I see from my sunroom. We had a, now I'm going to start going up this way because I need to pull this across. I don't want to catch the yarn. This needs to come across this way. Get a little closer. Yeah. Um, so I saw the duck, the duck and the ducklings um, from my sunroom. Then next thing I know, I think it was the same year, there was a deer out in the back. And I know the deer come around because the tops of our daffodils always disappear every spring. Just the tops, not the stems, just just the tops are gone. So we've seen deer in the neighbor's yard across the street from us eating their garden. <laughs> and garden meaning, not yard, um, but garden meaning like their vegetable garden that they grow. And then... Um, so ducks... Geese, the geese have taken over the 10th tee on the golf course here since they put in a pond right down the, down the green, uh, or down the fairway, rather. Um, and let's see, what else? Crows, we have crows. And we have all the normal birds, the robins, the chickadees, the wrens, the... Cardinals, the woodpeckers, the morning doves, the, oh, what else do we have? Bluebirds, um, yeah, the squirrels, the chipmunks. Did I tell you guys about the chipmunk? <laughs> there was a chipmunk that one morning was sitting outside. Um, if I told this, I'm, I apologize for repeating myself. But he was sitting outside. I could hear him outside the bedroom window. And there's a, a little cement step. I'm okay with that. I don't hate it. I kind of like the texture of it. Yeah. I wonder if I should do leaves. In the wool. Because I could do that, couldn't I? Hmm. I'm getting happier and happier with this piece as I do it, so. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this chipmunk was making this weird <coughs> kind of sound. And I'm like, what the, what, what is that? Is that a bird? What the heck is it? So Tony went out and checked. He didn't see anything the first time. And it stopped, but then it came right back. And then... He went out again and snuck around the corner because Tony is sort of known as a bull in a china shop. So <laughs> there's that. Um, I'm not going to do leaves right now, but I do have an idea that I want to do. So I'm going to use this one for in the middle here. I think it's just really pretty. I'm just using short pieces because I don't want it to get weakened by the... Um, pulling through the fabric. Oops, missed that one. Totally. Come on. Cooperate. And so he saw it was a chipmunk. Well, I went out that day and Tony was sitting <laughs> at the computer trying to do something and the chipmunk ended up on the front step. And the front step is right outside, like right maybe five feet, you know, if you went through the wall in the window and, you know, it, you'd be at the front step from where the computer is. 
So he texted me, he said, I'm going to kill a chipmunk. <laughs> I talked him out of it, <laughs> but he was getting so frustrated. <laughs> and I told him, no, you're not going to kill the chipmunk. Just chase it off. He said, I have like 15 times, but it keeps coming back. So I said, Google chipmunk noises. So he Googled it. And the chipmunk felt like he was in danger. Well, little did this chipmunk know, he really was putting himself in danger by, <laughs> by making Mr. Tony mad. <laughs> he said, I'm going to take a hose and I'm going to squirt it down the hole that he keeps running in. I said, no, don't do that. That's not nice. <laughs> he said, he's driving me nuts. And I said, no. <laughs> Just keep chasing him off. He'll go away eventually, and it'll be okay. Just leave the poor little chipmunk alone. And so he did. He went for a walk or something. <laughs> I'm like, go for your walk. It'll be fine. He'll be gone when you come back. Well, I got home, and the chipmunk was gone. He wasn't making any more noise. And then about a week later, I saw him in the backyard, and I said, hey, Tony, your little buddy is back. He's like... He better not be. <laughs> Tony's not that mean. Now, he did used to be a drill instructor in the Army. He, he did get a little, you know, a little stern with people now and then. But that was his job. Why is that thread sticking up? I must have pulled it through with the, uh, the wool. I'm just going to cut that off. I found these scissors. They came with my sewing and embroidery machine. They're good. I like them. <laughs> They're going to go in the Huswif if I take the Huswif traveling anywhere with me and want to do something in the car. So. All right. I like this, but it's going to get better. because I'm gonna bead on top of this. And I'm going to close out this video in a moment here, or a few minutes, rather, when I finish this, and then I'll come back and bead on top of it um, when I can. It might be in the next video, but I have to go feed my tummy, because it's making really gross, ugly, embarrassing noises. Oh, I do like this. Yes, I like it a lot. I'm glad I did this. Shh. Jeez. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm going to growl at you until you feed me. Oh, my goodness. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes. And I feel like I'm being braver because of reading Floor's book. I'm following my heart and what feels good and how to make it. And that's what I want to do more of. Whoops. That's that hard to get through. I forget what this kind of lace is called, but if you have a name for it, let me know in the comments below. Okay. Alrighty. That's it. Well, I thank you for being here. Yes, I'm going to bead this. Um, I will probably do the majority of the beading off camera so that I'm not boring you. But I'll come back and finish it up um, as the start of the next video. And that way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, haven't seen it before, whatever, you're not, you're afraid of beads or you don't like beads or whatever, we will go through it then. I am very happy with that. There's going to be more flowers all over the place. I'm going to stuff this thing with flowers, I think. Little flowers down here, and they're just growing as they go up. There might even be another one of these. Not another one this big. And I don't know what the other ones are going to consist of yet, but we'll get there. Hey, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you pulled up a 
a project, let me know what you're working on below in the comments. If you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> and I appreciate it. Everybody, happy crafting. Have a great day. Bye.